Now we can get started. Good morning, everybody. It's Sean. And for those who are new here, uh, I'm Sean. You may or may not know me from this. For someone you know. Or this. Maybe this. And if you don't, I mean, I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad you're here. But I will say this. I am no YouTuber. So let me just start off by saying this. The one thing I like to consider myself as is a lost creative. Alone in the streets of New Mexico. I thought I'd give you all a little insight of what my brain looks like for the day. You know, kind of take you guys throughout my day and see what that's like. A little, uh, little reality check. Um, you know, a little stress, a little fun, a little anxiety, a little of a lot of a lot. So, welcome guys. Let's get this, uh, let's get this started. Well, it's almost, uh, almost 10 o'clock. No, it is 10 o'clock. So, that means I pretty much spent my whole morning, uh, making this intro. So I should probably just move on to the next thing before I get cut off. So usually in the morning, I just kind of stay in the clothes that I sleep in for like the first half of the day. But it's kind of cold right now. So I figured I just, I would change into longer pants and, uh, and maybe it would just get me moving. No, I'm gonna pick some more. Usually my selection of clothing comes from what I just feel like I want to dance in, so... Uh, and yes, I do have a hat that says Shawnee Boy. No, I did not buy it. No, did I not make it. I got it as a gift. So... Yeah. This whole week I have my body uh, in very intense ways uh, as a dancer as a dancer because it's a Saturday I'm like I might as well just, just warm my body up with a little yoga I don't do yoga all the time but I do yoga as much as I can I used to do yoga so much that then I was like getting sick of it and I didn't like that so yeah now I'm just like if my body is yelling at me saying do some yoga then I end up just kind of doing some yoga Right now, this is your moment as you step onto your mat to reconnect and return to your- Wait, I need to pee. Oh. Let's begin by taking a deep breath in, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, and start. Now that I'm done with my yoga, uh, that's where things get a little tricky. I generally start to work on some treatments, or like creative treatments or ideas or something that will kind of get me motivated to, to, to work towards something. But I think right now, I'm gonna wash the dishes that I didn't do yesterday, last night. So creative. So creative. So dishes are done. Woo it's now 12 o'clock, which to me 12 o'clock means lunch. But I'm not that hungry and I'm just like, 
I don't want to tell myself to eat right now, so maybe I'll just go on a walk. See, now I'm not really the I'm not really the type of guy who likes to walk if I have like no destination. Like I love walking. I love walking. I think it's one of the greatest things ever. But if I'm walking and I don't have a destination, then for some reason I dislike it a lot. So I'm, it's, the one thing that I'm really grateful for in where I live is that it's near a grocery store. So that means that I can always walk to the grocery store and I can always, I can always get something. But the bad news is that I always have to feel like I have to get something when I'm at the grocery store because otherwise if I'm at the grocery store and then I don't get anything, I feel like the walk is useless. So anyways, um, we're walking to the grocery store. watch myself dance uh, and I'm like judging myself and and constantly like just going through so much footage I it, it, it does kind of motivate me a little bit um, to like get back in there and just do better than that I feel like that's probably the direction I'm gonna go today I'll um, hit my friends up who own this great studio and also are great people and just see if they if this if the studio is free place or like not having not being in a place that offers uh, much activity just trying to not get so bored that you just want to keep eating that's literally been my like I think battle being here is that like I'm like like what how do I like get myself busy enough to like <laughs> announcement Japanese sweet potatoes there's nothing better nothing better I'm alone. No one else is going to eat out of this jar. Okay? She got back to me. Looks like we're going to the studio. This is generally the place that I come to when I need to move, dance, whatever it is. Um, Cause it's only like a, like a six, seven minute walk from my place. And the people that own the studio, as I said, are amazing people. So yeah, welcome to my second home of Albuquerque. <laughs> The 
That's so great. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. Oof. Sorry about that. So generally what I like to do is kind of just warm up, play songs that kind of get my body moving. But also, Drake's new album just came out. And because I've never heard of it, and when I usually warm up, I dance to music that I never hear. That's how I kind of train. So maybe we'll play with some Drake and some Taiwan. I am so sorry. Sorry, I forgot there's like copyright, so. about like an hour and a half I was uh I was obviously trying to warm up um I don't know for some reason I just discovered that Drake's music just does not warm me up music's great I just don't know if it's the right song to <laughs> I feel like I would I would normally be uh chatting someone up while I'm dancing if I'm hearing his music but in this case it's just myself so I had to push to some more emotional music but anyways uh yeah was dancing was going over some combos actually that I'm planning on teaching in Japan in December. So I usually do get like a month prep in ahead. I'm gonna just dance a little bit more, maybe like another 30 minutes until like four o'clock. I like to look at the clock because then it determines. For me, it just gives me a sense of peace of, you know, like, okay, it's been two hours, uh, it's been enough. Uh, that's usually, that's how my mind works here in New Mexico. So, you know, never in LA, but just here. Uh, it's how my brain functions. But yeah. I'm just gonna, gonna hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll we'll head back and see what happens is where I left off. And um, I forgot that I'm leaving to Vegas tomorrow. Um, yeah, I. I totally forgot. Which means that I have to, or I should, start packing. So, um, it's only for like three days. I'm not going for pleasure, I'm going for work. Uh, we're shooting the very few last episodes of The Cleaning Lady, the second season in Vegas. So, it should be fun. <laughs> now, my rule of packing for any trip is that it has to be Mmm, 65%, no, 72% 7, comfortable and 28% decent clothes. Uh, the, 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 the hot sauce is, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it, it's just a me thing, I just, if I can bring it, I'll bring it, you know, it just makes it... I don't know, hot sauce just makes everything better, okay? Okay, so Vegas trip is packed, and I am pretty much at this part of the day where things start to get a little bit slower, because I'm the type of person who wants to talk to my close friends wants to talk to my family, but I hate the feeling of like bothering people. Like I feel like for me as I grow up and as I get older, I start to realize the importance of just human connection. just watching sort of what I had just done in the studio. I have about three pieces that I kind of experimented with for Japan and I'm debating on which two out of the three I want to go with. So... I totally forgot that I'm about to leave and move out of New Mexico soon. And one thing that I haven't really done yet is actually cook with green chilies. 
which if a lot of you guys don't know, green chilies is kind of like the thing here in New Mexico. Sorry, my hair is just... I guess that means that we should probably head back to the store. Oh, great. It's got a ton of culture, a ton of tradition, mm -hmm. good food, good people, a little crazy, but it makes it work. Oh really? Yeah. You think it makes it work? Oh yeah, absolutely. You gotta have a little spice, you know what I mean? Get I love that. Bland meal, you know? Mexico yeah, yeah, yeah. Well bland. I love that. I love that. Place. Thanks, Nate. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Hey, drink plenty of water out here. I mentioned I'm leaving New Mexico soon so I just got to use whatever's also in my fridge and it's perfect because it's a soup so I can just dump it right in oh and also these uh, the mighty blue legots blues big size big flavor blueberries the size of these blueberries. I really start, I really start prepping. opener sucks. If you've gotten this far into the video, then I am truly, truly surprised as much as I am honored. Being alone in a different place and different environment has really given me some space and time to rethink my thoughts, my relationships, my ego, my time, my goals, and most importantly, my purpose. This video was to push myself to do something different while also giving you guys something new. Something that will hopefully allow you to see a small glimpse of the reality in my day, in my mind, and yeah, it sucks. I mean, it's very exciting too, but it also really sucks. Seeing my friends, my family, my peers from afar, God, it, it, it sucks. But with that being said, I'm also so grateful to wake up to a shining sun, a roof above my head, and another chance to another day. There's always so many ups and downs, but I guess that's just life. And I really did have a lot of fun including you guys into my day, into my monthly recap, into my November reality check. Or a spy, or like a really high class process. I mean, the whole reason of this entire video is really to just give you guys an authentic and very, very realistic insight of not just my day of 
but what, like what my brain feels like and looks like. So I hope that you guys can watch this and take from it that everything that you see from the other side of the screen, there are so many ups and downs. And the one thing I have to always remind myself uh, every single day, uh, whether if I'm alone or if I'm with people, I just have to stop thinking too far into the future and to just, I guess, live in the present. I'll see you guys in the time. Thanks for, thanks for checking in.